So this is part two of the queer experiences that I've had recently. And if you want to see part one, it's pinned to the top of my profile and I go more in depth. <laughs> so I had a couple of people commenting on um, different social media accounts that it was like gaydar that I was experiencing. And I wanted to come on and share like a little more clarity on what I meant and being able to like pick up on like queerness <laughs> within other people now, because I was explaining how you can only recognize within others what you recognize within self. And after I accepted that about myself I started seeing the world and people in a very like different lens and it's not necessarily having to do anything with their sexuality okay it's more about being able to perceive somebody that has a very open energy field that has higher states of consciousness and is more accepting of like love on many different layers and like expressing themselves authentically so it's like sexuality is like one part of it but it's more about them as a whole being and how there's more and more of those people coming into my experience now but that's also because I feel a lot more comfortable in expressing who I really am at a soul level. As far as empaths, lightworkers, neurodivergence, we don't always feel comfortable in general public spaces because we're not always necessarily around a lot of other people like us and so we have a much more like guarded energy field. Sometimes that becomes like a self-fulfilling prophecy though and we just pull in more people that are not not expressing self authentically because we're being guarded uh, we have to be somewhat vulnerable and I know that's not always safe to do or always the case but the more that you embody who you really are and stand strong in your energy field the more you start to attract your soul tribe men members and people that are on like a similar wavelength as you and that have open energy fields it goes back to that adage of like you got to be it to see it <laughs> Like when I really accepted my queerness or, you know, whatever that it looks like for you fully is when more people just start blipping up in my everyday reality, even though I live in a very Southern conservative state. <laughs> now when I'm out and about, my perception is focused on finding people like that instead of the quote unquote normies. <laughs> okay, so I'm just pointing my energy and attention at my more preferable reality and experience. And the universe is feedback looping that to me, but I had to accept that within self first. So anyway, if you wanna watch the first video, it's pinned to the top of my profile and leave a heart in the comments if you needed to hear this message today. And remember to follow if you want some more spiritual queer talk. <laughs>